Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my video. My name is Lou and I still have some tech. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Welcome to 2021. Happy New Year to everybody. All right, so I've got a very special video for you guys today. We are going to be talking about the beautiful Power Color Fighter Edition Radeon RX 6800 card. This is the non XT card, the 6800 card. And um, this is going to be a video talking about the mining performance. We're going to be doing an unboxing and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to enable your smart access memory for those who have a 5000 series CPU and a 6000 series GPU to the extent you haven't done it already. Now, if you're new to the channel, please get yourself subscribed. I do want to grow this channel. Your support is everything, okay? And uh, I do still have the promotion which is going on, which is when I get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and pay 50 USD worth of Ethereum to the wallets of three users, okay? Get yourself, get yourself subscribed, like and comment. All right, so I know you guys are here. You're here for the business. So let's get straight into this video. Uh, let's start with uh, the unboxing and, uh, and let's get things going. Okay guys, so as always, I wanna show you what the measurement looks like. So I'm just gonna take a look there. I think you can see that it is just over 12 inches. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see it. Uh, just over 12 inches, so if you've got a 5700 XT in your rig, this is gonna be pretty much the same size. Okay. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you guys how to get your smart access memory enabled. It isn't by default. Um, and uh, if you do have a 5000 series AMD CPU and a 6000 series GPU, there is a boost available to you. There is a gain um, that is called smart access memory. So in order to do that, you need to, yes, have those two things there and you will need to in your BIOS, you'll need to enable above 4G decoding and resize bar support. Above 4G decoding and resize bar support. Doing those two things will uh, enable your, your smart access memory, okay? All right, so for me, my BIOS did not have um, those functions available, or well, it didn't have the resize bar support. It did have the above 4G decoding. So what I'm doing here is I am downloading um, the latest BIOS and this BIOS will have the uh, the enable bar support, um, which is what we need to have your smart access memory working. Now, is this smart access memory going to make a difference? I don't know, but um, it's it's a boost there. So I think you should just go ahead and, and download it. So as you can see, I've downloaded mine right here and uh, you know, just drag the file to my desktop. Uh, all you literally need to do is you just want to extract the file, okay? And you just want to put that on a flash drive, put that on a USB drive. I will show you the file in a second. So this file right here, put that on a USB and restart your computer and uh, go through your settings to flash your BIOS and enable those functions and your smart access memory will be done. Okay guys, all right, let's do something fun. Let's get into the mining clip that I pre-recorded. Uh, I do wanna go ahead and apologize, guys. I messed up the settings in OBS 
and I recorded this in 1080 as opposed to 4K, which I have most of my content. But you can see right there, right there, there we go. So this is a hash rate there of 72 mega hashes per second. Um, now you'll see that it's going down 70, 70, 71, 70. Um, yes, this is on an RX 6800. This is the non XT variant. And, uh, and I am getting um, the hash rate that you're seeing. This is real. Uh, this is not Photoshop. This is not no fancy tricks. This is a real hash rate. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the full setting. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna, I've got the screenshot. I am gonna post that there so you can see it. Now, there is a disclaimer, okay? I do wanna say this. Um, straight out of the box, I do not get this hash rate that you're seeing right now, okay? I do not get the hash rate of 71, 72, 70 mega hashes per second. I don't get that. What I get is 65 mega hashes per second. That's when I've turned up all the bells and whistles. Um, at the moment, I'm getting 65 mega hashes per second. Now, this has happened about four times, okay? I've had the graphics card for like a week, and this has happened about four times. What I've noticed is when I use the graphics card a lot, okay, in one session, so it's like the graphics card is hot, it's warm, you know, whatever you want to say, it's, it's had a good session um, uh, that's taken place. Um, at that point, I've noticed that it seems to kind of break past its limits if you were in true Dragon Ball Z style. Ah! Um, <laughs> so when that takes place, um, I am able to get a better, better hash rate. Now, I'm testing this card all the time, so I'm trying to find a more reliable way of getting to this point. As I said, this has happened multiple, multiple times. It's happened to me four times now. Um, but again, if I turn off my computer and I turn it back on, I'm not going to be getting 75. I'm not going to be getting 72, 71, 70 mega hashes per second. Uh, I'm going to be getting lower than that. Okay. So that's something I just want to let you guys know. Now, you know, what does this mean? What does this mean? Well, this is good. Okay. Uh, this is very good because it shows that there is more performance in this graphics card. And I think that's what everybody knows. Okay. The, there's more performance in there. It's just being held back. So I'm hoping that maybe if I get this video out there, the community will see it. Maybe the good guys at Eagles Lab or someone else, somebody else can can work on some kind of BIOS mod or find a way to permanently get a decent hash rate on these cards so there you go i wanted to get this out i wanted folks to see it uh, these are the settings that you see in there in the screenshot and uh, as i said this is a non-xt uh, RX 6800 graphics card. Now, I do think this is a big deal, okay? Not a super big deal, but a pretty big deal. If you look at NiceHash, okay? They have their, you know, they have the confirmation that, you know, we can confirm the hash rate to be around 58 mega hashes per second. That's for, you know, the 6800. And as far as the 6800 XT, um, minus stat has it confirmed to be at 66 mega hashes per second. So if we're getting 72, 71, that's more than what the XT is doing, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, again, we still think, well, I still think these could go further. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you know, I'm wrong and I hold my hands up, but, uh, there you go. What do you guys think about this? Um, it's not like amazingly different, but it does take it into the seventies. And I think that it looks better, you know, getting low seventies than kind of like mid sixties. Uh, does that mean that, uh, more of you guys are going to go out and get this card for mining? Um, does it mean that, you know, you guys are still going to stick with the 3080s and the 3060 TIs? I mean, I want to know, uh, leave, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, but um, I thought this was significant enough. I wanted to get it up. So there you go, 72 mega hashes per second. That is the peak uh, mega hash rate that I've gotten on the uh, on the power color RX 6800 X, 6800 <laughs> non XT GPU. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. Please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.